Okay, so far what I've done is I defined some H tags. So I'm looking here and I'm looking over here. I did an H1, I did an H2 for here. I did an H2 for this and I did an H3 for here. I'm looking here and I'm looking down here in the, the tag selector. And now we're gonna do a different type, not based on a tag. And this is going to be a class selector. This class selectors allow me to custom style really anything in the document. So, and it won't be based on a tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the CSS designer, okay? Class selectors are ones that you name yourself, okay? They don't have a specific name. You can name it whatever you want. And what I want to do is everywhere I see maybe the word cats like this, I want to give it some styling, okay? A different styling that I have right now. To do that, I'm going to create what's called a class selector. So I'm going to go down to my CSS designer under add selector and Dreamweaver is going to try to anticipate what I want to do based where my cursor is and it's going to be wrong in this case. Anyway, I'm going to click on plus. I don't want body paragraph but rather I want a class selector. Class selectors start with a period. Period. And I'm going to just name it whatever I want to name it. I'm going to name it cat styles. Oop, I get rid of one of those Y's and cat styles. Again, it has a period. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the properties. I'll be in the text. I'm going to make all, anything that I apply the class style, orange, that text. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go into orange. Having a hard time getting orange. I'll just go with gold. And I'll pick a font family. I'll do one that's, I'll do, I'll do impact again because it's gonna show up really well. And I'm gonna make it really big. I'm gonna do pixels and I'll make the type size 40, okay? Now, if I look in my document, I'm gonna move this out of the way, nothing has happened because I didn't apply the class style to anything, okay? I have to do that next. To do that, what I'm going to do is pick on the element or the text that I want to apply that style to. And I want to apply the style to the word cats. To do that in the property palette, you have a whole area here for class, class styles. If I click on the little arrow here, I can actually see the style that I created. If I click on here, it's been applied. I'll do that again. I can use these class styles as many times as I want. I see the word cats here. I'll go to the drop down and pick cat styles. You have to apply the class styles yourself. I see the word cats here again. I'm going to come down here and apply the style. Okay. Again, you have to physically apply these styles. And if I go and look here, I can see that the class style has been has been applied. Cat style. Okay. If I want to change that, maybe I don't really want it to be gold. All I need to do is go to where I created that class style in my CSS designer and I can make changes to the properties. Maybe I do want really orange. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go into orange. When I'm happy with the color, I could hit the return key. And if I go back, anywhere that I applied the class style has now changed. Again, I could come in here, pick any color that I wanted, and it reapplies it. So those are the class styles. I'll do that one more time, create another one. This time, maybe wherever I see the word zoo, I want a specific style for that. Maybe I want an italic. So I'm going to create a custom class for that. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to click the plus. I don't want body paragraph tag. Dreamweaver did not guess what I wanted to do correctly. I want a class. So I'm going to name it. I can name it anything I want, but it has to have a period. And I'm just going to call it zoo. And maybe I'll call it hyphen word. Zoo word. 
I'm going to go to the styles and I'm going to go to text. I'm going to pick, I'll do red because it'll show up really well. And then I'll do a italic and I'll do a size. Maybe I'll make it, I'll make it 25 and I'm going to leave that be. So it's going to be red italic 25. If I look in my document, nothing has happened because I did not apply the class anything. So now I need to find what I want to apply the class to. It could be anything, but in this case, I want to do it to the word zoo. I'll do zoos. In the property palette, if I click on the arrow here, I can see the style that I created a thumbnail of it, and it's been applied. I can do this anywhere I want. It doesn't even have to be on the word zoo. Anything that I apply that to. So if I come down here and do the word female, doesn't really make any sense here, but I could apply that style. Class styles can be applied to anything. So there's styles that you preset up. If I go into my CSS code by clicking right here, and if I go down, I can see the formatting that was set up. So my first one, cat styles, the color that was applied, impact, the font size, the one I just did was the red, the font style was italic, and the font size was 25. Another thing I could do is modify the background color. The background color is the body tag, okay? To do that, what I could do is I could find the body tag in code view, which is right here. I could open up my CSS designer. I could add the selector for it. Now, Dreamweaver picked it up because I had it selected over here. I could also just come in here and I could type it. Once I start typing, Dreamweaver gives me some code hints and I can select the word body. Now the body is going to affect the background color and I'm going to go to this time the background properties and I'm going to pick maybe a light yellow. Sliding that up and I'm going to choose a light yellow. If I hit the return key I can see that has been applied.